Hey friends, you know, a lot of us like to shoot video with our smartphones, but getting good quality audio into your smartphone is no simple task. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing a couple options that you can set up on a rig like this. These are both uh, camera mics or DSLR mics. You can hook them up to camcorders, DSLRs, or plug them directly into the iPhone. I've also got a professional shotgun mic up ahead, up above my head and we're gonna compare all three of those mics with the audio from the iPhone directly. So this is an iPhone 7 Plus. I've got on the stand a Rode VideoMic Pro. This is about a $250 microphone, very popular. It's been out a while. I've also got a Kamika Micro Condenser Shotgun Microphone over here. This is about a $50 mic, just came out. And then I'll be using a Sennheiser Shotgun above my head. Uh, I usually send the Sennheiser to a Zoom H5 recorder and then I sync it up with this video afterwards. So that's what you're hearing right now. But I'm gonna demonstrate all three of the other options over here into the iPhone. And the first one I'm gonna do will be the iPhone audio by itself. So that's what you are going to hear. Let's get the iPhone set up. I'll be using Filmic Pro to shoot the video. And this one, as I said, will be straight uh, iPhone audio. And let's see if I can press the button here, get it started. All right, this is the audio from the iPhone 7 Plus. Here's a little ukulele for reference. Okay, now we're gonna use the Kamika Mini Condenser Shotgun Microphone, and to do that, I need two pieces of equipment. I need my iPhone 7 audio adapter, and then I'm gonna use this little tip ring, sle tip ring ring sleeve to tip ring sleeve connector, and that goes into, the tip ring ring sleeve goes into the iPhone adapter, and the tip ring sleeve goes into the microphone right in the back, and then those get plugged into the iPhone through the lightning connector. And that's pretty much all you need to do to get that working. So let's go ahead and we'll shoot a video. Now this will be with the Kamika mic. All right, this is the Kamika micro directional shotgun microphone. It costs about $50. Testing one, two, three. The next mic we're gonna do is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Now there's two things we've gotta do. One, we have to turn the mic on. It has a battery in here, so we're gonna flip the switch on the top. I'm gonna flip it to the on setting, and it's got a low end uh, cut, so about everything below like 80 hertz is gonna be rolled off. I also need to use a special cable this is a tip ring ring sleeve male end to two tip ring sleeve females and one is for a microphone, one is for headphones. We're gonna plug the microphone jack, the one that comes off the mic, into the microphone side of this cable. So this is a Y cable and then this can go into the iPhone adapter. Something that I'd like to share with all of you is that when you're using the VideoMic Pro, now this is my experience, using the VideoMic Pro in this setup with this Y cable and Filmic Pro, I've discovered that I need to first turn the mic on, uh, then I need to open the app. And if I don't do that, I tend to get some audio problems. So hopefully this will be working fine. Let's get this set up here. And this will be, get this aimed, let's see, there we go. I'm doing this backwards, so uh, let's see how this one sounds. So this will be the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro, costs about $250.
breaking. One, two, three, four. So before we wrap up, I'm gonna play the audio for you again, quickly back to back, just for reference. So we had the iPhone 7 Plus by itself, followed by the Kamika micro uh, directional shotgun uh, microphone. And this also comes with a uh, fuzzy wind screen as well. And then we have the Rode VideoMic Pro. And just for reference, we have the audio that you're hearing now, which is coming in through a about a thousand dollar Sennheiser shotgun mic and that's going directly into a zoom audio recorder all right so those are your four audio samples I hope this helps you guys make some good uh, decisions for yourself about what kind of audio uh, and perhaps video equipment you want to invest in in the future if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, enjoy the recap of the audio and I will see you in a future video thanks for watching all right, this is the audio from the iPhone 7 Plus. Here's a little ukulele for reference. All right, this is the Kumika Micro Directional Shotgun Microphone. It costs about $50. Testing one, two, three. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro. Costs about $250. Checking one, two, three, four. All right, this is the audio from the Apple iPhone 7 Plus at about three to four feet away. And you can hear my voice. You can probably hear some of the room sound. Here's a ukulele reference. the iPhone 7 Plus from about three to four feet away. Next up we have the Kamika Micro Directional Shotgun Microphone. It costs about $50 as of the making of this video. It is a very small mic and will connect directly to a DSLR camera or a smartphone with, uh, without any trouble, very little adapters or adaptation needed. Here's your ukulele track. the Komika Mini Unidirectional Shotgun Microphone. And finally we have the Rode VideoMic Pro. This is a small format shotgun microphone that can plug directly into a DSLR camcorder and with some adaptation into a smartphone. And again, that is the Rode VideoMic Pro.